Ladies and gentlemen, well, according to YouTube, it's just gentlemen, so hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back to some more Battle Brothers action, and we're working alongside the Iron Band here, which is, uh, ironically, a group of, like, rangers. I'm not really sure why I came up with that name, it just sounded cool at the time. I was, I was watching a documentary on the Silver Band from Greek, uh, you know, antiquity. I was like, oh, cool, why not? That sounds like fun. And, I mean, it's, it's certainly not the Silver Band. I mean, we have a, we have a ranger, right? We have a, we have a druid, we have uh, a cannibal, we have a couple of, of slaves, a farmhand, an herbalist, there's all sorts of people here. And, I mean, hey, it's kind of fun, right? It's kind of fun. Now, the problem that I'm running into is I don't have enough cleavers to deal with these guys, which is kind of a pain in the butt because they regenerate so darn quickly. Now, the Cruel Falchion, maybe, ooh, you know what? Actually, does the Cruel Falchion have some unique capabilities here? I guess that's the real question. It uh, does not, it's just Slash, so it doesn't do anything super fun. Gash, though, has a higher threshold to uh, inflict injuries. Here, let me settle all this out. We have a bunch of short swords, which is great. It's all good and fine. We have an Aventail, which we can actually use on you if you weren't so gosh darn, you know, limited. Uh, Ditka the Barbarian. I forget what we were planning to do with you. It's been like a whole day since I played this game. So, uh, in the meantime, though, Karedin, we still don't know what to do with you. Ah, but I think you were going to be a, like a dodge tank. Yes, you were going to be a dodge tank. That is the solution that I had for you. So, regardless of that, for right now, we need to keep you safe so that you can get to the point where you are a dodge tank. So we're going to add this to you. Currently working on... <laughs> the fatigue is amazing. Oh, that fatigue is amazing. I'll tell you what. Uh, so we will work with a kite shield and... A scythe is not really a bad deal, to be honest with you. We may end up wanting to do the Crow Falchion, simply because it is, it provides a little bit more damage and a little bit more, yeah, it's it's just an objectively better weapon for you, at least. Uh, hmm, yeah. Man, Divka is pretty darn awesome, to be honest with you. <coughs> now, Karedin. One thing we could do with you is we could transition you into the front lines. And if we do so, we transition Deedka into the back. Deedka has mace mastery, which would allow you to potentially use this pole mace. It's not like the best solution, but considering this guy is at 14 base melee defense, it's pretty darn awesome. Because let's, let's pop this on here, right? You're at 29. Okay. Not the most amazing thing, but pretty darn good, you know? So, I, I don't dislike it. I do not dislike it at all. And I think we're we're at our max for rangers. I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is probably just fine. Someone with a uh, crossbow and handgun perks may be good. So, I think Rakolda, maybe? Holy cow, your melee skill is just a, a insane. 63 melee skills. Ah, that's great. Goodness gracious. Alrighty. So, in any case, um, kind of moving around here. Let's go ahead and put Ditka in the front lines for right now. Because we have the flexibility there, and I think also at 71 H or 71 melee skill, we can probably leverage Karedin as having something valuable here. A hand axe, maybe. What, what are we trying to accomplish? I think that's the intent, that's the primary goal here. What are we trying to accomplish? So we have an ax, we have our support melee, we have Jack the Reaper, which is a custom build. We have a fairly decent cleaver master with no cleavers, which is good. Raymond the ever fatigued. Could always pop that on you. For, for no <laughs> no reason whatsoever. I don't know why. It's interesting. There's, there's stuff to do. There's stuff to do. But we're not going to touch on it right now. We are instead going to try and remind ourselves where we came from. Okay, we're good. We're, we're in a good spot. Now, the only problem is unholds, tools and supplies are expensive. 
And hunting giants, we don't want to do that. We're not going to be doing the arachnids. And return items, might as well. 560 crowns, 620. Alright, perfect. Good to me. Let's get these guys. 17 of them. Wait, what are these? Many thugs. Alright, that's easy enough. Super simple. Gives us 640 crowns. And we'll go ahead and wait on you guys. Yeah, people should be moving here soon. Either case. Good hits. Oh, that's a sad day for the dog. Okay, let's go ahead and move the, the hound over. I'm interested to see what these... Ow, that hurt. Would you stop hitting my guys, please? Thank you. It appears that they do have quite a few... ...ranged users. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, seven in total, it looks like, potentially. Um, I'm sorry, Karedin? I didn't give... <laughs> Beat him to death! <laughs> I didn't give him a weapon. What a guy! Yeah, we're gonna move you here. Perfect. Let's spear wall up. I'm gonna move you here. Off with the head. Sorry, puppers. I always feel bad about that. Let's move you up north, just in case they decide to do anything funny here. Okay. Cut hand. Sorry. <laughs> you guys not having a good day? Uh, stabbed guts, minus HP and fatigue, which is phenomenal here. Let's try and get this. We'll get the thug here. 65% chance, stabbed guts again. Excellent. Mm. Yeah, okay, so these guys got slings. Way to go, wolf. Wolf doing very well. Miss that guy. I know he's running away, but if we can continue to pop these guys down, it will continue to burn through their resolve here, which is excellent. That is the entire point here. Okay, now you're running. Excellent. But you got a shield, so good for you. Uh, let's hit this guy. 77% chance. Cut his ear. It's fine. 48% chance, and a miss. That's okay. I'm not too disappointed with that. Now, I know I've said this before, but I am on the lookout for a war scythe. That I was unaware of as a, a thing, but apparently it is. So, that is that. Uh, a thug. I don't know what we're going to do with that. I don't know why we're doing that, but that uh, is what it is. So, 45% chance. Try and get these guys... I think the injuries are going to be more of the uh, the focus here. Early on, at least. And then we can potentially get you... That's a very low chance to hit. But hey, you know what? You get it. You get pierced leg muscles. And that is a minus in melee defense. 91% chance. This guy has cut arm sinew, which is phenomenal for us. Missed. That's okay. Try and get these guys as quick as we can. You can get through there, and you miss with a 79. That's unfortunate, but we are doing uh, we're doing very very well. Like we're we're working with very easy fights right now. Like I'm not gonna lie to you, these are just generic money fights at this point. There's there's no risk to them, and that's okay. That is okay. I am truly okay with that. Perfect. Alrighty, come on. This one's not having a good time. Let's see, what can we do with you? 66% chance? I think that's okay. Ooh, almost killed him. Very nice. Karedin blocked that shot. One, two. Excellent. 
chop this guy down to size. It's another down. So at this point, we're just kind of stacking up the tools, which is good. Another. Man, this guy's missed quite a few shots today. Ooh. Double 44% chance as well. At 44 and a 46, I cannot complain about that much. Oh, I can't get up there. Darn it. Okay, well, you're going to run, and uh, you're going to miss, but that's okay. Is what it is. So, 100% chance to hit that one. So that guy is dead regardless. 71% chance to hit this one. He's not going to hit. Okay, darn. I was going to hope that he hits, but he wasn't going to kill regardless. I think the important thing at this point is to save, at least from, from this perspective, we want to save and conserve ammo a little bit. Oh, goodness. So I've been playing a game called Battle Aces. I don't know if it, if uh, any of you guys have played that before or you've even heard of it. It's an interesting blend of real-time strategy and, I don't know, it's almost strangely MOBA related. Kind of the idea being that the games are over in about five to ten minutes and you come into the game with a deck. So if you ever played... I want to say Halo Wars. That's probably the best association with it. You come in with a, a set of units that you can build over the course of time. You need to unlock certain units as uh, advanced or whatever the case may be, which is which is fine. But it's absolutely fascinating, and it's something that I found very very interesting. I love the evolution of game modes because my other game that I I don't really stream this or I don't really uh, record this, but. I would say outside of Battle Brothers, or uh, recently at least, Mech Engineer, the most common game that I've played is Company of Heroes. And quite honestly, I, I just had earlier today even a 50 minute game of Company of Heroes, and it's just, right, I'm gonna have a baby soon. It's not something that I can necessarily afford to do all the time, as much as I'd love to. So the idea of having something that is a lot more flexible is kind of fun. So. Give it a shot if you have it if, it, if you have a chance. Uh, it is currently in beta. You do have to request it, but in any case, uh, taking a look at the loot here, not a whole lot. Realistically, it's just more. Uh, well, it's just more stuff to uh, disassemble here in our camp, which is all good. So if we take a look at the salvage tent, let's go ahead and mark some more stuff as salvage. That is that 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 that. Boom 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 boom. We do not need the short staff, we do not need more cleavers, we do not need that, and we probably don't need that as well. So, I think what we'll do is we will probably head over here. Uh, alias, it's fine. Kimasabe, well done. Let's go ahead and move back over to Longholtz. Now, I will say, <laughs> one of the fun parts is uh, forgetting the keybinds between the games. Like, I'm, I am very hesitant to press W, A, S, and D on this game, simply because on Company of Heroes, if I press those things, they do very, very different things. But, in any case, let's take a look here. Do we need the Militia Spears and the Goblin Skewers? Probably not. So if we take a look at the Militia Spears, 30 to 40, 25, 90. 30 to 40, 25, 70. And they're worth less. But they do have minus two weight. So I think realistically, we're probably going to end up selling the spears uh, from the goblins and calling it good. I think that's okay. All right. So I think we're going to pass on on that, uh, on the other stuff here. And we are going to head over to Grohl Festa. Now, ah, rebuilding efforts. Excellent. So we purchased for 203. We're going to sell for double. I like it. I very much like it. Everything else is a little bit more expensive, but hey, you know what? Tools, not so terrible. Let's go with that. And let's sell the goblin stuff. Let's just... It's not worth it. Okay. Now, there's a tavern. Didn't want to do that. Uh, tavern, weaponsmith, armor, and a training hall. First off, I want to see it's uh, what kind of people are available for us to hire. Holy 74! That is amazing! What a guy! We also have a tank and a half right here. What a... What kind of miners do they make here? Irrational and fear of the undead. Ooh, I do not like fear of the undead. Let's see if we can find something else. Uh, you're too expensive, but you would have 75 base melee attack, zero range defense, and 
10 melee defense. That is insane. Great fatigue and great initiative. I would absolutely... Is it worth... You're pessimistic, which is not great, but like everything else is just like, holy cow, you're amazing. I mean, seriously, though. All right, determined and dexterous. Terrible HP, but you do have two stars in HP. Like, I could definitely make this work, right? I could make this work. Do you have a... Uh... Yeah, I figured it as much. You do not have Colossus. That's a problem. That's a real problem. Okay, nope, nope. Don't look at the Rangers. We're good on Rangers. Ah, the Miners, man. They're killing me. Do have a Deserter. With actually really good stats. Spartan and Faint-Hearted. Oh, your resolve is literally zero. All right, we're going to pass on that guy. We are going to pass on that guy. So you look good. You're 2,000 gold, though. You're quite expensive. I don't know that we have that kind of money. And to be honest with you, I feel like we probably need to focus on getting more equipment in the first place. So that's just what I'm going to say for that. So as far as we are concerned, let's take a look at what we got. So there's a military cleaver, which is too much for us. 40 to 60 damage. Like, it's, it's an amazing weapon. Don't get me wrong. But... It's not necessarily something that we can handle right now. Uh, taking a look at the cloaks. Simple cloak or a heavy cloak? Ooh, heavy cloak's kind of nice, but we'll take the simple cloak for sure. Full male coif. Deep salad. Five for 100. Not bad. Cell swords leather armor. It's 1300 for 13 weight. Now, let me take a look at these guys. What are, what are you working on with level 2? The Thorax. The Linothorax. I mean, that's expensive. Don't get me wrong, but... If we can get tier 1 armor, I suppose... Well, let's, let's take a look at the marketplace. See if there's anything, like, damaged there. That might be able to help us out, too. Faction Ornamental Helm. Sure. Maybe. Why not? Tabard. Plus 2 Resolve. It's always good. The tabbed cowl, take that. Tower shield, minus like 80 billion maximum fatigue. The bill hook is always a good option. <sighs> but realistically, I'm not seeing that that much. That's that's being like, it's really calling my name, you know. Uh, Karedin, we wanted to get you a weapon here. You want to get you the scythe? Scythe's probably fine. You do have gash. Something to consider here. Other than that, though, I think we're in a good spot. Break off three and three. Give you that level up eventually. And for right now, though, let's consider doing some training. See, what is this? Three. Yeah, I don't care about you. That's okay. That's okay. We're good. We are good. All right. Is there anything that we can buy from the Weaponsmith that's worthwhile? Fencing sword? Maybe. Arming sword? Maybe. Pike? Probably. I don't really have any good pikes, though. Two-handed sword? Maybe. Do I have any two-handed I mean, I guess Alias could be a two-hander. But you're born with the board, so we've already specced you into that. That's fine. Uh, Ditka could potentially be a two-handed sword mastery. There we go. Because we're going to pop you into dodge, so... Maybe what you do is we take this Warbrand, you know? No, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. I think let's yeah, let's let's definitely just come back to it. In the meantime, let's go to Grunenbach and try and get some uh trying to get some stuff here. Brigands, 20 of them. 
Many thugs, a few poachers, some raiders, and a few war dogs, and a farmhand. Alright, well, that looks interesting now, doesn't it? These guys are kind of a pain. Uh, okay, so, oh, pike. So I see a pike. I like a pike. I like getting a pike, at least. Let's try and get these guys, uh, let's try and get the easy guys first. You know? And then... 50% chance to hit that. We're gonna miss that. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, 35. Well... Wiker? What's your... So you have 31% range skill. You're actually just... Yeah, okay, so you need to get Poacher's Arm. That's fine. That's fine. I get it. I get it. Uh, no big deal there. Regardless of that, uh, oh, there's two pikes, in fact. I'm crazy. So why is this guy in 11% Oh, because you gotta hit the thug behind him. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Alright. Injured shoulder, minus damage inflicted. We like that. Alright, headshot. Kill shot. And... Oh, oh, we missed. We missed him and hit the raider. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's pop up the wolf. And can we run away? Yes, we can. So we need to get our guys up to the front lines. I think that's going to be the key there. Once we get that, I think we're okay. Chop. Mm, I don't like you. You... You identify me, or I identify you as uh, problematic. Okay. I think we're okay. See where we're going here. 35, 5. Yeah. So if we hit you, you're dead. Perfect. All right. Next up is... Uh, so Kimo Sabe here. I'm just realizing that he only has 15 HP on his head. Let's try and get this guy down. Thug. Oh, no. Brigand Raider has struck down Kimosabe. 47 hit of 40. Jeez. All right, Kimosabe. Let's hope you're... I hope you have brain damage. You would be the perfect... Oh, this is a Raider? Raider with nothing? Interesting. Okay. Don't call me surprised. Okay, cut artery. Not going well. Double miss on the 47, but they hit him. Darn it. How do we want to play this? You go down. Yep. Okay. What are you? You're also a raider? Holy raider, dude. That's amazing. That guy's not having a good day. Wait, who died? Who died? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Brigham Thug died. Okay, cool. Ow! 66, 60. Perfect. Raiders running. We're trying, we're missing, but we're certainly trying. Thug, thug, poacher, and raider. Uh, all running. With the exception of you, so I'm gonna try and hit you. Alright, I did see that, so, Kimos- Oh my gosh! D can I get 135 damage? Goodness! Alright. Uh, well, regardless of that. Sincerely, though. Uh, he- he did have, uh... He did survive. So, I mean, there's that. Right? Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, you're running. Perfect. 
A lot of guys are running, which is good. We missed on both the 57s. Problematic. Alright, dead. Perfect. We'll take it. Uh, you have a... Wait, what's, what's your deal? Fractured rib? Do I really care about that, to be honest, though? No, probably not. Okay. Pierced arm muscles. I will take that in a heartbeat. So let's see, what do we do next? Uh, Raider is here. 62% chance. And we miss, darn it. Off with his head! Okay, we can make this work. Dead. Alright, this was a little bit more problematic than I anticipated. Alright, we got tired boys here. All we really care about is that one. Off with his head. Alright, let's go ahead and run him down. Uh... Alright, there we go. Don't really care about much else. Alright, Kimo Sabe. What'd you get? Broken knee? Minus defense and minus initiative? Eh, could be worse. Alright, we got a nasal helmet on Simple Hood. We got a rusting mill coif. We did get the Morning Star and two pikes out of the deal. Alright, Kimo Sabe, well done. Your suffering was not in vain. Let's get that. May not have been relevant uh, to us, but uh, you know what? I don't care. Some thugs, some poach, a few poachers, some raiders, and a few squires. Ooh, squires? No. Squires too much for me. I I'll be, I'll be level with you. All right, we were just here though. We were literally just here. Uh, marauding green skins. Eh, is what it is. All right, so I'll tell you what, though. Tell you what. Let's go to Grunenbach. Uh, interesting. A monk from the mob reads from a holy tome. Deontological. All right, Chero suffers light wounds. Uh... Okay, apparently we take someone. I do not know who that is. Catherine the Roast- <laughs> The Roasted. Holy cow, look at that! Look at that armor. Um, alright, so, she has- Let's- let's take off the shield here. 19 base stats. She's level 2. 60 base melee stats. Iron Jaw. Bloodthirsty. She is a shield maiden. With 111 base fatigue. And, well, I mean, fairly- Jeez, she's pretty darn nice! Actually, look at that fatigue. All right. I am very happy that we decided to take you in. Let's go ahead and fix you up. And let's give you some... Let's give you Colossus here. Deedka, let's also give you something here. Are we going to... We're going to level up your melee skill, melee defense, and probably... Let's say HP here. Do we do the HP? Yeah, let's do the HP. And then let's give the Colossus. You're going to be a dodge tank. The Dodge Barbarian. Not bad, not bad. Alrighty, Alf gear. Upgrade. 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 Yeah, you'll be fine. All right, now at level, uh, let's see, what are you, Alf Gear? You are going to be Boat Mastery. Yes, that's right. And then it was uh, Ricolda that is going to be Eagle Eye Cross. So you're going to be a crossbow. Perfect. We are struggling just a little bit here. That's fine. That is cool. Plenty of stuff around here, which we can do, hopefully. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and take a look at our camp here. First off, that is pretty darn amazing. Let's add you, you, and you to the salvage tent. 
And then we have even more stuff to salvage, which is kind of fun. Tell you what, though, what I am not salvaging are these two pikes. That's for darn sure. So we're supposed to have 32, which is super nice. Excellent. We're to keep camping. All right, there we go. We got some bug meat. Ugh. 26 food. Uh, created 13 units of ammo, two units of medicine, a little bit of stuff all around here. Let's take a look at the marketplace. Everything's going to be really expensive, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. That seems to be the unfortunate thing right now. Oh, speed them, though. Speed them, not bad. Uh, we are currently at 15 out of 15. So, something to consider is potentially we could move, not Karedin, but maybe we could move Rymond into the back. Rymond, with a fairly decent set of melee skills, could take a look at using this pole mace and potentially actually be of value to the team. Not that he's not, but goodness gracious, does he struggle. Uh, instead, we can take Catherine there. Uh, let's put that Linothorax with you. And the Aventail pops up to 55. Put a simple cloak on you. On you as well. And then do we do we have anything we want to do with that? Da -da -da. Come on, there we go. Alright, so you're at 59. Maybe that's a little bit too much. We'll see. We'll see. We could drop the line Thorax and take you down to 125. That would give you a little bit more fatigue. Um, we're going we're gonna to go with that for now. For at least right now. And figure out what we're going to be doing next. So, let's take a look, though, at, at what we have. And identify what we can potentially work with. So, tools are 591 here. Uh... Yeah, everything's going a little crazy here. That's fine. Uh, so we could secure the cemetery. We could return an item. Hunting web nets. Work war camp. Let's see, how much is this war, war camp? 2,800 crowns for the orc war camp. Can we potentially take down orcs? I'm going to say no, to be honest. Maybe. Maybe. Like, we could pop some morning stars in here. I think if we drop the drop the wolves, that would also be a phenomenal opportunity. But with our current limitations, I don't know. I do not know. And Kimosabe is, of course, recovering right now. Um, he's gonna be he's gonna be replaced at some point, which is kind of expected, but that's okay. So in the meantime, though, let's take a look at what the secure cemetery is. Sure, I think we can do that. For right now, though, we are going to... Uh, where is this? Okay, well, let's take a look down here and see what's actually up. A plethora of Noxerers. Okay, I actually think we can take Noxerers. Realistically. So, if we're going to do that, though... How do we want to fight this? So, you have Fractured Ribs. Fractured Ribs is minus Fatigue. Fractured Hand is a minus 20% melee skill. That's problematic. Hmm. <sighs> Plethora of Noxers. Do you want to give you one-handed swords mastery? Sure. Why not? For reasons that are unbeknownst to me. Let's give you the cruel falchion. Let's take a look. We're a little bit injured, which is okay. But we are running with some decent stuff here. 26 of the enemy in total, which is kind of problematic. That said, though, we do have quite a few decent frontline troops at this point in time, which is good. We're going to have our rangers take giant pot shots at these guys. We're missing everything. Excellent. I love to see it. There we go. Take that shot. 
see, are there any big guys here? No, it doesn't appear like it. So let's go ahead and take one of them down a, a notch here. Oops, uh, we'll do that. And we are going to wait for you. Wait, wait. Hate for beasts. So you do have some pretty good resolve here. I think that's okay. Let's go ahead and spear wall up. I'm interested to see what these guys end up doing. So they are probably going to work around the, uh, the spear wall here, which is good. And uh, never mind, you don't need to work around the spear wall if you just break it the first time. No big deal there. Alright, so Kath Catherlin, Catherlin, the Roasted It's going to be quite resilient, which is great We just missed a double 61% chance If this is the way this is going to go, we're going to end up dying Which is super fun Let's see One down, excellent Perfect Alright, let's let this guy do his thing Perfect. We got guys running now. That is good. This is very good. 70% chance. Hit. We do get the hit. Let's go ahead and parry up. Leave as is. I'm going to wait for this guy. We get this guy down. Yes, we certainly can. Now, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to spear wall here. Hopefully see... Nope, never mind. Doesn't matter at all. Alright, new round here. We're missing. 66% chance. Ooh, these are, these are a little bit rough. Okay, apparently we're not that concerned about it. So this Noxor is a little bit more concerning. They haven't started consuming each other yet, which is good. Do not get me wrong. 40% up to 57%. And we still miss it. Ooh, this is the one. Nope, we missed it. It's fine. It's fine. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, bleed, deep abdominal cut. We're good with that. Now, remember that Kimosabe has very, very limited capacity. We're missing everything anyway. We're missing literally everything anyway. No big deal. Okay. Pop him in the face. Uh, what was that? Oh, that guy was trying to run away. Excellent! And you popped him. Pierced hand. Excellent. We're good with that. Alright, we're doing okay. We are doing okay. It's taking a lot of tools. Don't get me wrong, but we are doing great. We can pop here. We can go there. Yep, excellent. No one's at the big stage yet. That is a good thing. That is a good thing. We're gonna leave that as is. And what do we do here? Do we do we pop this as well? I think we do. Nice. We're gonna move around. Oh, that guy's running. Excellent, excellent. We'd love to see it. And that guy goes down. Excellent. We absolutely love to see that. This guy is struggling as well. Okay, we are we are coming across with the uh, with the solution for this battle. I'm very excited about this. I oh this, the the puppy has died. Oh, that is sad. 
Can we get a shot? Excellent. All right, so this is kind of fun. I don't think we've seen our troops do this well before against a group like this. I'll be totally honest with you. How much uh, ammunition do you have? You have four left plus your other stack, so we're good. Would be nice if you actually hit him, though, yeah? Okay, fair enough. Oh, you hit my guy, but you missed the 65. <laughs> Rip. All right, run him down. We got to get this money. Perfect. Well done, troops. Even despite the fact that we had some injuries and other stuff going on, we're still doing well. I think that's it? Yeah, that's it. That's all that we care about. Excellent! Well done! I am happy with this. I am very happy with this. 132 gold. We got a crap ton of Noctura stuff. We got some growth pearls, and we got a signet ring as well. Very, very nice. So, let's go back and get four, or 1,700 crowns worth of equipment and stuff. I very much like it. We are low on tools. We are low on food. We are low on uh, ammunition. We are low on, well, just about everything, to be honest with you. And we're not going to be buying it here because everything is literally double the price. But we are going to be calling it a day. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been at least a little bit interesting. We've started to transition into some of the more interesting style, uh, style of play where we're really challenging our troops and our, our battle brothers and battle sisters a little bit more than we have in the past. I'm very excited to see how this starts to turn out. The, the raider fight was a little sketchy. I was uh, on that, but on top of that, uh, I was a little bit even... I was even more concerned about the uh, Noxorus because I know that those can sometimes scale out of control, but the troops did a great job. We put them on the run and we routed them effectively. So this is going to be good. It's a sign of things to come. I am absolutely positive. So anyway, I hope you guys had a great time and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.